Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct here with another troubleshooting repair video. Thanks for joining us in this video. We're going to show you how to test a faulty braking system on a transaxle motor. Before we get started, I want to mention two very important things. Number one, if you want a copy of our brand new product catalog, all you have to do is go to our website, www.mobilitydirect.com and click on the button at the top of every page. It's a green button that says free catalog. Just fill out that simple short form and one will be in your mailbox within one to two weeks tops. I also want to say that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're automatically entered into our giveaway and we give away a free mobility scooter once a month to a lucky random subscriber. So you're already here. What are you waiting for? Just hit that button and you could be the next lucky winner. I'm going to throw the last winner on the screen so that you can see it's legit and we'll be right back with you. All right, we're here. We're pulling up to the, uh, lucky winner's apartment building and we're going to bring the scooter up to her door and we're going to get the reaction on video. I'm pretty excited. This is awesome. I mean, we're giving away a mobility scooter to someone that truly needs it. So stay tuned. We're going to go up the elevator. It's on the third floor and we're going to present this custom scooter to the winner. Oh, I like that. Oh, thank you. You like the scooter? Me. I, We're giving this I was going to say, you look like you can run a marathon. You don't need a scooter. No. We're actually giving this one uh, to one of the residents here on the third floor. It might be your neighbor. Yeah, they, they entered into a giveaway raffle and they won. That's why we're getting it on camera. Exactly. Oh yep. my gosh. I'm so happy for you. Hello. It's good to meet you. Scooter. This is Oh, God bless you. You won. Alright, so I'm just we're here with tissue. Gloria and she's got her scooter that we're donating and all she did was subscribe to our YouTube channel about a year ago. <laughs> I said it's a godsend that I got this. It's a miracle, really. I needed it desperately. Well, it's, it's something we're really happy to be able to do, Gloria. Thank and, you. And we really appreciate those kind words. and. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is subscribe. This is what we're doing here every six months. So if you know somebody else that could use one, please tell them about it. All right, welcome back. And hopefully you've subscribed. Good luck to you if you did. Now let's get started. So most mobility scooters come with automatic brakes known as an electromagnetic brake assembly. And it's attached to the motor itself. This is a 24 volt transaxle motor. The electric brake assembly is here and it has a switch which you can use to turn off and turn on the automatic braking assembly. There's also a lead here with a connector that has two wires. And we basically are going to be testing these two leads to see what the resistance is at using a multimeter. Now, if you haven't already seen our other videos, you know that multimeters are a must have tool if you're troubleshooting parts on a mobility scooter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to the resistance setting we're going to put it at 200 and it's testing ohms, which is that omega sign there, the orange little omega sign. You can put it at 200, 2K, 20K or 200K or even 2 million. 200K is, or 200 is fine in this case because the reading is going to be well under 2000. So let's see how many ohms we get and we'll go ahead and keep that on the screen here so you can see I'm putting my positive and my negative probe right into the connector there. And we're getting just over 30, which is exactly normal. I've checked with the manufacturer, and that is the resistance that you should see on this size of motor. Now, every motor is different. The electromagnetic brake on this motor is supposed to read between 30 and 50 ohms, which is good. Now, if we get a smaller scooter, like the Golden Buzz Around Carry-On, which we have right here. All right, so here's the Buzz Around Carry-On. We have the electromagnetic brake disconnected at the clip here so that we can took our, take our probes and put it in there. And I know based on the tech specs that it's supposed to be uh, just shy of 60 ohms. Around 55 to 50 is pretty good. So let's see what we get. Let's plug it in, positive and the negative probe going right into the clip for the electromagnetic brake assembly. And what do we get there? We get about 54.4, which is perfect. So this brake assembly is working fine. If it was out of range by a good 20 or, you know, 10 to 20 ohms, that's probably not good. But 
if it's off by just a few and it's you know within range by only a few ohms it's still probably good it will vary over time depending on how old the scooter is and that's basically how you diagnose and troubleshoot your electromagnetic braking systems on a mobility scooter i hope you learned something today again i'm sergio with mobility direct and if you have any questions about getting replacement parts, we have a dedicated parts department. Unfortunately, we don't offer troubleshooting by phone for every person that owns a mobility scooter. Contact your dealer. If you're a customer of, our, a customer of ours, we'd be happy to help you. Just give us a call, provide us with your order number, and we'll help you out. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com, and click on the green button that says free catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct, and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic. We love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.